What's a pitch deck? Funny enough, a lot of people aren't clear on this or if they're trying to build one, they're just trying to get some guidance. And so that's what I do. I've been an entertainment attorney for now almost 10 years. And a lot of times people are putting together pitch decks because they're trying to raise money. So if you are a filmmaker or just trying to work with investors in general, this is a video for you. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up right now. Let's jump into it. So as far as what goes into the pitch deck, you got to start with just a little introduction, right? Please tell the people who are reading your wonderful pitch deck, which P.S., you should do and maybe just PowerPoint. If you don't have PowerPoint on your computer, you can use Google Docs and use their PowerPoint. But anyway, I just love PowerPoint because you drag and drop, you can do text boxes. It's just easy to update and revise if you're building this on a website. If you're building it as a video, it just gets so time intensive. So anyway, that's my suggestion. So do a little introduction, but make it strong, simple, concise, and strong. Who are you? What's your experience? Why should I believe anything that you say? And why should I give you my money? Because I know what's coming if I'm looking at your pitch deck. So you're building the whole story of why really what I should do is just trust you. But that happens with what you put in the actual introduction. And then you go into just a little outline of like, what's the vision? What is this project for? So again, if it is a film or, you know, maybe you're trying to build a complex, right? So you're into real estate, like whatever it is that you are trying to raise money for, the pitch deck is to serve that end need. So explain your vision. And so especially if there's like some kind of compelling edge to it, if you are trying to story tell and there's some social issue or political issue or religious issue or some compelling thing, that's just so awesome. Please say that and be clear, but be concise. Where I kind of like to get into this at this point is to get into the general marketplace analysis for what you're doing. So if this is a film, can we please compare to other films like yours in the same kind of genre that are intended for the same kind of demographic, what have competing films done as far as revenue? And so, you know, I, I'll do or give the example of, you know, if you're doing a documentary, you don't need to be like, hey, look at what Iron Man did as far as the revenues. These are not one to one comparisons. But if you go, hey, we're doing a film that has this kind of like religious uh, story about it or as a, you know, a Christian kind of theme, here's another film that's kind of like that, that did these types of numbers. And if you can give, let's say, maybe three to six examples that would be extremely helpful because again you set in the mind of the person who is looking at your pitch deck what is the possibility and if you give an example that is just so unbelievable you know you're gonna lose your reader so that's why i say be reasonable and put something that that you know again kind of looks like what you're doing so you can compare it and then you know give a little synopsis this kind of goes in line with you gave a vision of what you're trying to do but now give a synopsis of the storyline give a synopsis of, you know, the mission statement, something like that. But then what we want to do other than the market analysis is get right into breaking down the budget. We go, in order for us to make this film, you know, this is a super low budget, non-SAG after a production. It's going to be $250,000. We expect a return of $500,000. We're going to reimburse you guys. And then we'll also give you a certain percentage of the revenue. So you kind of break down the overall budget. You go, it's 250. And this is kind of how we allocate it. We have a certain amount that's going to the director. We have the producer, the line producer. We have the editor and the special effects. We have catering. So you structure it out kind of that way. So someone can reasonably anticipate how the money is going to be used, but it also forces you to think through this. So besides kind of breaking down the budget and how the money is going to be used, make sure you allocate a little bit of the budget towards marketing. Because in the storytelling of why someone should invest, how the money is going to be used, what is it for? We're also going to talk about the end goal. Are we trying to get, let's say, distribution for the film? Are we trying to sell the film? And with that comes, for example, marketing. Is there anyone on your team that knows marketing? Is there anyone that can facilitate the incredible success that you're going to be selling to the investors? And then with that, please, please, please have a section talking about the actual team, who are the amazing people who are a part of this production that are going to make it a success. And so you go, it's not just me. I'm amazing. I'm the person that you should trust. But here are the team members who are so invaluable that are going to ensure that this thing actually is knocked out of the park. We get it done for you. It's going to be great. So you talk about team, you talk about the end, you know, are we selling? Are we getting distribution? And then finally, you have the call to action. So the call to action is what are they going to do now? So you go, this is the investment opportunity. I go into this a little bit more in other videos talking about there are different ways to do investment raises legally so that you don't have to spend $20,000 going the traditional route 
you know, getting investor paperwork, filing disclosures with the Ex Securities and Exchange Commission. There are ways to do it so that you can save a lot of money, protect yourself, but also make sure your investors are protected, which they appreciate very much. Make sure you build this, do it in PowerPoint, make sure you revise it, and then run it. Please, please, please actually go through your presentation a couple times before you ever send it to anybody, before you have them sit in a room with you and try to make it something like 30 to 45 minutes. I shoot for 45 or under. And I think there was a study done saying that the majority of people start to lose attention after like 21 minutes or something like that. So you have to make sure you're upbeat, make sure you're keeping people engaged. If you need help with any of the above, you can contact Delgado Entertainment a lot and we will help you with all the things and making sure that your project is in fact a success.